This is Rosewood59 here to teach you guys how to make Yoda's lightsaber lamp. And you can download a free set of plans. These are all the material that I used to make Yoda's lightsaber light. Cut out square templates and use double-sided tape. I used my Dremel tool to cut out the shapes. When all four pieces are cut out, sand all edges nice and smooth with 120 grit sandpaper. I cut out the small square template and traced it onto the paint stick, then used my Dremel tool to cut out square pieces, then use Dremel tool to make a small hole that the eye will fit into. Now use the rest of the black tube to cut the big square piece. Use a Dremel tool to cut it out to size, then sand it with 100 in grit to 120 grit sandpaper so the bottom is nice and smooth. Use a fine handsaw and cut down the middle. Then use a scrap piece of the black tube, the two together, it will fit nicely over the chrome pipe. Take the template that looks like the letter T and cut it out. Use double sided tape to stick it onto the metal. Then use your Dremel tool to cut out the piece. I left a quarter inch long at the bottom just in case if I need it. I can always cut it shorter. Then I sand all the edges to make sure they're nice and smooth and no sharp edges. Because this is metal, we want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Then I bent it to the shape that it needed to be. Cut out the template for the handle. I used a scrap piece of half inch MDF. Traced it out, the template, then cut it out on the bandsaw. Use the carbon paper to trace the inside area. Then use the Dremel tool to cut out the inside of the area. Use sandpaper to smooth any rough edges. Now take your paint stick and car carbon paper. Trace out the switch square with the hole in the middle. Cut it out with Dremel tool and then take the Dremel tool to make a small hole that the eye will fit into. I use Goo Gone to take any of the sticky stuff that was left over from the double sided tape. For gluing up the black big square, put wax paper over the chrome pipe. Then I put the black big square on and use Gorilla Super Glue to glue it together. And use elastics to keep it in place as it dries. Use a scrap piece of 1x2, which is inch and a half width and thickness is about 5 eighths. I used inch and a half hole saw to drill out the piece, then sanded it nice and smooth. Use scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. Use inch and 3 quarter hole saw. Drill out the piece, then sand it down to fit inside the chrome pipe. I used the disc sander to make it fit. I used inch and 3 quarter hole saw again and cut it out on 1 8 inch plywood. Drilled out an other inch and three quarter hole saw using three quarter inch plywood. Then sand all the edges down to inch and a half circle with the disc sander. Now take the inch and a half circle and use a hand saw to cut down one of the edges to about one eighth inch piece. Sand it so that it is all nice and level. Now take all the circles and use Gorilla Super Glue and glue them up. I use the last sticks once again to help keep everything in place as it dries. I forgot that I had to curve this piece, so I took it to the spindle sander to give it a nice curve on the inside of the shape. Then I glued it to the black piece. Use a 7 8 inch Forstner bit to drill a hole in the middle. I used a dowel first, I placed a dowel inside so that I was able to find the center of the hole easier. Then I used my Dremel tool to cut a little notch out so that the metal piece would be able to fit in better. I did end up cutting it shorter. Drill a hole in the chrome pipe with 1164 metal bit. 
Drill a hole in the metal piece 11 64ths metal bit. Drill a hole in the wood piece 5 32 seconds drill bit. For the base, use 3 quarter inch pine, cut it out to 4 inches width and 6 inches in length. Once I found the middle, I drew a line down 2 inches, then from that mark from 2 inches, I went up 3 quarter inch. Then I drilled a hole at inch and a half inches wide and a quarter inch deep. Then I drilled a 1 inch hole so that when we put the light in the bottom, that is the size of the hole that it needs to be. Then I used my trim router to give it a nice look. I used a chamfer bit. Then sanded everything nice and smooth with 120 grit sandpaper. Took the Gorilla Super Glue and glued on the little square pieces. I used the page glue to glue up the screw and the nut piece and joined them all together. Now time for painting. I used Bare Ultra which is a paint and primer. Then I used green nail polish for the eye pieces. When everything was dry I used Wellbond glue to glue on the eye pieces. Just wanted to give an extra protection so I put on a clear coat of Varthane satin finish. I took the chrome pipe, metal pieces, and black circle pieces and put everything all together. I found that I had to add a nut in for extra strength. Time to glue the middle part and I used LePage glue and glued on the other black pieces with the same glue. Use some wood filler to fill in any gaps that I had. Then I went over it with black paint once everything was dry. I used bare test stain samples that you can buy for your decks and I just picked it in the black color and I just put one coat of that on. I used my Cricut machine to cut out the Star Wars name and glued it onto the piece of wood. Then I top coated it on with the Varthane satin finish. For the lightsaber look I used a kids bubble blower that was in a sword toy and I found that at Michael's at the craft store. I used my Dremel tool to cut it, sand it, and shape it to size just so that it would fit nicely in the black circle holes all together. Then to give it the lightsaber look, inside look, I took some clear wrapping paper that I bought from the dollar store. Use a scrap piece of wood and just roll it up. I think it was roughly about 10 inches or so, not too thick, otherwise the light won't go through it. I rolled it up to the right length that I needed, then I slid it off the piece of wood and shoved it into the green tubing. Then I used LePage glue on the green tube and pushed it into the black circle pieces. And then I did the same thing on the bottom with the metal chrome pipe. I used the same glue. Then I used these types of bumpers for the bottom. That way then it doesn't move. It has a nice rubber finish to it. And here's some few pictures of the final look. <laughs> by my channel and go to the video description link below for free plants. Don't forget to comment on this video. If you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.